Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Therapy. If you're new here, this is where I talk and ramble about a problem in my life and hopefully people can relate with it. Um, we'll see if people relate with this, but hey, you can't go, can't, can't possibly do worse than that. Um, if, you, if you're uh, returning, welcome back. I have not kept up my one a week aim. Uh, long story short, I'm moving across the country and it's been difficult to explain to people. Uh, I And I don't know why. <laughs> Um, you know, on, on one hand, I have this really simple explanation of, you know, to, to people who don't really need the explanation or whatever, I've just been like, oh yeah, it works, you know, works on the West Coast and they need me out there. But the truth is, yeah, most of my team is on the West Coast for my new job, by the way. Uh, I had my last day of my previous job last week. Yay. Um, two weeks break and then it res the new actual software engineering job uh, picks up and starts. So yeah me taking stuff forward in life um i think the last last video was about choosing that anyhow uh the surface level of explanation is just saying my work is, is out there but in reality i think about almost three weeks uh two weekends ago i should say i had a bit of a an existential crisis my like 10th one as of late but that is so unfortunate um both the crises and the fact I landed on my head can relate though. <laughs> um, it's it's you know, I effectively decided to go to Seattle because well a I sat down and worked out all the logistics to make the move because there's some some places I need to be at the end of June and the start of July, which staying in New York would make infinitely easier, um, but. I figured out the logistics and I figured, you know what, this actually isn't impossible. In fact, it's very doable. Uh, you know, if I moved to Seattle, I'd have to get this stuff across either way. And if I can do it this way, blah, blah, blah. And then I was reading a book, it's called Who Moved My Cheese? And that kind of put things into a certain perspective. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I realized that I still, I still don't know how to say this. Maybe I'll come to a conclusion at the end. But um, oh, by the way, future me. It's hard to explain why you're moving when there's no objective reason. That's the title I wanted. It'll probably be different, but sometimes I just like think, oh, I had such a great title. Uh, it's, it's, I can't think of a concrete and clean way to explain to someone why I'm moving. Um, you know, in particular, I've been, I've been meeting up with a bunch of friends lately. And on one hand, it's, it's funny and ironic in its own right that it took me leaving to, you know, meet up with people again. <laughs> um, but I've never had a strong reason to stay in New York. I came here for school and kind of from the start was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna be uh, leaving at the end anyway. I can't see myself living in New York City. And, you know, people share that opinion, but they still work here or whatever. That's, you know, not the thing I'm going for here. But the last six months, you know, I stayed in New York City because of the people, you know, the, the friends I made here and whatnot. Um, it was also just more convenient to just not worry about moving. <laughs> Um, and I think, and this is an explanation of sorts that I, I said today, um, that kind of, that felt very true. I don't know if it's the best explanation. It's probably the best one yet, but staying in a, in a place for just because of the people and especially just because it's easier to not move isn't any reason to stay somewhere. Um... At least I don't think, you know, a job, a family, whatever. Those are reasons to stay somewhere, obviously. But if the only reason I'm staying in New York and putting up with the parts of it I don't like is friends, and I feel like a lot of other aspects of my life have just hit a standstill, which is what I mean when I say, like, there's nothing else for me here. Which, again, weird thing to say in New York City, but um, when the only reason I'm not moving in the first place is because... I don't want to leave friends, then, you know, that's just not good. I'm at a point in my life where I can fle be flexible with these kinds of things, and who knows, maybe I'll, I'll not like it as much as I think I will, and that'll be it for me. <laughs> um, can, oh, loop-de-loops -loop is a thing? Oh, very nice. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's just tough to explain because for some reason, uh, I feel like I'm letting people down. And I think that's a, that's a psychological thing. Uh, I'm not letting anyone down. Um, people say they'll miss me and I'll, I'll definitely miss them. And I don't know, in, in a sense, I find it hard to believe, but again, psychological thing. Um, I've just, you know, in, in college, I guess when I made friends, it was always of the mind that like, eh, well, you know, we'll be friends in college and we we'll, might never see each other again. But, you know, now that I started establishing a life here in a sense, going to parkour, which is the main group of friends I talk about just because it's the easiest one. But I, I you know, I do, I don't really have another group of friends. I would say small group of like two, three friends. Um, and I met up with them earlier this week, which was nice as well. Um, but then there's, you know, four to five like individual friends that are good friends here. Gosh, diddly darn. Um, and I've never really had that. So I never had that feeling holding me back, if you will. Um, I'm glad I stayed for, you know, the six months that I did, but every single time I've moved in the last, you know, five years, I've moved like every six months, it feels like the dorms and apartments and whatever. New York has just, I guess not once felt like the permanent place for me. It, not once has New York felt like the final destination. And I'll admit it might be, you know, it might be another destination, but it feels like the rest of my life isn't here in New York. Um, and if I'm going to make sure I answer that question at any point, now is that point. <laughs> um, what? Bruh. And it's just, it's hard to explain that that's the reason I'm moving. It's, you know, I have to explain all the logistics to people, like why next week's my last week here and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, but I just, I just feel like I got to move. And at the end of the day, not moving just, or staying somewhere just because it's easier or whatever, is not a reason to stay. Um, and perhaps for the last six months, I've been looking for a reason to stay. Um, but I just never found it. I guess I did find it in a sense, but... Um, yeah, it's topic for not VGT. I, I think I, you know, there are, oh, that was such uh, <laughs> excuse me. I, I found parkour here and I think that'll be something that sticks with me forever. My shoulders already feeling better and I can start to put weight on it again. And you know, that's not a problem. I think I made a VGT about that a, a few weeks ago as well changing identity, blah, 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 blah. Um, Parker will stick with me. There's a, a few groups in Seattle. I got recommended one that I'm going to take a look at while I'm there and hopefully, you know, go to consistently, make some friends again. Um, in a sense, I want to, again, stay in New York just to get like another year of parkour. But it's like, these are the good old days. And I guess there's also a part of me that like wants to make sure I end them for myself. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. Everyone splits off in their independent ways as, at some point, right? There's also a particular insurmountable barrier, if you will, between me and the group, those that group of friends, but um, that's what it is. Anyway, the, the second part of this VGT that I maybe, you know, I just remembered about because uh, I had this idea last night is that this move is... Mm -hmm. You know, closing doors that need to be closed. I, I'm someone who wants to keep all of my doors open, in a sense. Um, okay, I need to do a backflip, otherwise that thing's going to murk me. Um, but this is... It's going to kill me. I don't have a chance to do a stunt. It's so frustrating. Oh, oh, sheesh. Okay, cool. Um... It's, you know, with every person I say goodbye to here, and it's it's scarily easy for me to, it's in my nature at least, to just Irish goodbye in a lot of ways. Just be like, oh, move to Seattle. Bye, guys. You know, through a text or whatever. But this time I actually felt that connection with people, if you will. Um, that thing they call friendship. And I wanted to make sure I could see everyone again. Um, 
in respective contexts and whatever. You know, I told people this was my last Thursday session, that in two weeks it'll be my last Wednesday session, so on and so forth. Um, and more so with, I think, individual connections that I've made, it's, it's easier to leave them behind. Like, not leave them behind. These are people I want to keep talking to. And are you... I didn't even try. Okay, that wasn't even that good. Um, I don't want to leave the people behind, but I want to leave the possibilities behind. That's a really good way of putting it. Uh, you know, maintain connections. Um, I, was, I was talking with friends today after parkour and two of them, and I was like, you know, now I have an excuse to come back to New York City. Um, you know, a certain parkour event here, a parkour event there, or just like, if life's feeling monotonous and I need to, I want to work away from home for a week, then fly to New York or whatever. Um, you know, my, my job allows for that kind of work away from home kind of thing if, if I'm feeling like it, which is fantastic. Um, <clears throat> and you know, I can go to, I thought I was going to hit the balloon. Just missed the hitbox though. Um, and that's uh, great. And you know, I can see those people, but when you have an entire ass country <laughs> between you, um, you forfeit certain possibilities in a sense. And three times now I have felt this sense of like, I was never going to do anything anyway. Um, the world wasn't going to give me anything anyway. But, and I wasn't even like aware that I had these, uh, like, I don't want to say feelings, but like the, the, these conceptually never really occurred to me, but it's like all of a sudden, now that you, you're closing these doors, it's, it's, you can look back and see like what you, what you missed in places. Um, I'm, I'm staying kind of vague because there's no specific specificity, right? Um, but there's just this, I don't have to worry about this anymore. This thing that's probably been subconsciously weighing on me without my knowledge, not a problem anymore. <laughs> um, you know, there are some concrete things that have bugged me that, you know, I don't have to worry about anymore. But, um, yeah, just walking away with, with things that, might be painful. I don't know. There are there are things that are painful in a sense. They're they're good times, but you know that it will never be. You'll like with a group of friends from parkour. I guess this aforementioned insurmountable gap is it's preventing a certain at least me, and I I believe that it's a whole group thing that is is being prevented, but um. There's a certain dynamic, a certain feeling that I will never be able to feel. I love this group of people, and um, they are some of my best friends now. But there's just a certain thing that'll that'll prevent it from from reaching its ultimate potential, so to speak. And it's that kind of thing that I I sometimes am consciously aware that's missing. But now that I'm moving, oh, I've never noticed that the board actually <laughs> goes like flips around. Uh, when, when I grind on things. But now that, you know, the possibility is ending, that it's it's no more, it, it, it removes that pain. So I'm not really one for, you know, stop something while it's good, just so you can remember it being good. Um, I think I did say that earlier in, 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 in so many words, but, um, I don't know, there, it's just, now that I know that these things are, are wrapping up, coming to a close, I don't have to worry about them, about certain things and whatever coming up. Um, and certain doors are closing, and with both people and places here, it's just a breath of fresh air to think, you know what? Like... This chapter never really finished, but it never would have finished anyway. And now that I'm moving, there's no 
like like if I didn't move, it's it would have this lingering feeling that like these chapters, so to speak, could be written, but I just might need to sit down and write them. And whether I don't want to sit down and write them or whether God damn it. Um you know, my house is on fire, so I can't sit down and write them. Whatever. This metaphor is very strange. Um, there's just, you know, we're just throwing away the, the outline and not even bothering, and we're just finishing it up. Um, and that feels really good. And those feelings coming up, knowing that... Um, actually, a good example someone who's not in New York. Um, I often tie, you know, people and interactions to places as well. So that's worth worth mentioning here. But um, it's, it's you know, moving on to a next chapter of my life physically. You know, the, the new job, the, the last one at least, never really felt, I don't know, uh, full. I, I always kind of saw it as a next step. And I got to stop viewing things like that, man. Oh, God. Um... But there was someone who we talked, we had like, we had some great deep conversations. We would talk pretty frequently on text and whatever. Um, and then at some point, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I said something. I don't know if they said something, whatever. Um, but it was just like, I felt like all of a sudden a good friend just became so distant from me. And I don't know, it's, it's rare that you find friends that you can relate to on so many levels. And I really don't know why that happened. And, you know, there's a part of me that wonders, but with all these, you know, moments of, like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Now that I'm moving and, and doing all this stuff, it, it just gets grouped up with everything else. And it just gets put behind me because um, I never, you know, fully moved on. But this really feels like it's the next chapter, so to speak. And, you know, I want there to be recurring characters, but... Some storylines don't have to keep going. Um, I don't know if this is making any sense. Uh, it's it's as bittersweet in the most specific of bittersweetness. Um, sucks to, to leave the good old days behind, but I think if I don't, then I won't have any more. And I'm going to look back and be like, ah, shoot. I think to end this off, um, another thing that's occurred to me, and again, this kind of feels weird, but in New York, I'm content. I've been content. You know, my current room situation, it's not ideal. It's, you know, pretty good for New York. Don't get me wrong. But uh, New York City, at least. Um, I want something better, I guess, but I'm content with this. You know, I'm not, I haven't complained. I'm not going to complain. Um, there's some funny things here and there, but I'm not going to complain. And to me, that's what content means. It means, sure, you know, oh, we're not going to, you know, this restaurant's closed. Let's go to this other one. Whatever. That's content. Um, I apply to, you know, two colleges, right? And one of them doesn't accept me. One does. And I go with the one that does because they're both. That's content. And I feel like I've always been content. And especially in New York, I'm content. I have a routine that works for me, you know, going to parkour and, and waking up at a certain time. Um, and, you know, I'm getting back into making videos. And the, the last job, I was content, but mm, actually, I disagree. <laughs> there are a lot of things with that. Uh, in, in a lot of ways, though, I was content in the fact that, you know, the salary, okay, yeah, I'll take it. Um, the work you're giving me, okay, I'll take it. I wish you gave me more, and I wish it was more challenging, uh, and that's why I left, but um, I was content. And the thing is, to be content is to never be satisfied. Um, and again, weird to say this when you live in New York City uh, for generic and both stereo for generic and stereotypical reasons, but I'm never going to be satisfied here. To be satisfied is to go to the restaurant you planned and then it's open. <laughs> be satisfied is to get into both colleges and ex choose one of them. And that way you get control, you get choice. You're not always gonna be satisfied in life. I get that. 
Um, I'm gonna go apartment hunting. No idea if I'm gonna find the perfect place. But I think I'll be satisfied because I'll have made the choice to move. Right? Um, with parkour, I'm, I'm content with my progress, but I need to pick it up. I need to get into mobility training and really, really amp that up, you know? Um, and so to be content in that regard is to never be satisfied. To be content staying with where I am is to never be satisfied with when I move. And I don't know, that's kind of a hard thing to come to terms with. Wow, I really went to the map on that one. Um, that can be a really hard thing to come to terms with. Um, and I, I think I'll never be satisfied here. And it comes that, back to that pain thing where, you know, you're, you're hanging out at a place or, or with people or with a person and you're content with, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a general way to phrase the environment thing, but I can't. <laughs> you're content with, you know, this, everyone's surrounding schedule and how, and how things operate. You're content with your relationship with, with people. But you know that there's conditions that can be met that will never be met. And you, therefore, you'll never be satisfied. Um, you know, you, you, you stare into the void. Mm, no, that's not it. You're reaching for something and you, you touch it. Your fingers just graze it and you take a little bit away. And on the way back of, of grabbing something, you got something else and you, you know, I should use something specific. You're reaching into a hole and you feel diamonds at the bottom, but you just, you just can't quite reach it. And as your hand comes back up out of the hole, you grab a few rubies on the way out or something. Suppose your, your goal is money, right? Uh, oh, damn, got a few rubies. That's pretty freaking good. But I know there are diamonds down there. But the thing is, when you reach down, you just can't quite reach it. You can't quite get down there. And that sucks. <laughs> and sometimes you you know, you reach into the hole, you get the rubies, you get emeralds, you get sapphires, whatever. And you pull them out and you're like, this is great. But then every once in a while, you accidentally graze the diamonds and you're like, Ugh, never going to get those diamonds. I'm always going to come up with something that's still very good still great still better than anything i've ever had before you know nice group of friends that i've never had but there's something with that group of friends that will never be met great friends with people but there's a certain connection with those people that will never be met and i i don't know i saw that and i came to terms with it and then i decided i guess i don't have to come to terms with it i can keep that contact with people but move on you know, let go of the fact that there are diamonds in, in that hole. Come back occasionally, you know, to get rubies and stone and, and sapphires and emeralds. But go and find another hole that I can reach the diamonds in. Not to equate, you know, having good friends with, uh, you know, a certain monetary value. That sucks. We're going to end here anyway. But yeah, that's the metaphor I'll end on. I think it's actually pretty apt. Um, in New York City, there's so many sapphires, so many emeralds, so many rubies. And I'm sure there are diamonds within my reach, but I'm done trying to reach and I'm going to a new hole. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and or listening. Um, I've been your player one, Marker Mumpkin 78, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.